Hi, welcome to another timeless journey to do the wisdom of Rumi. Here I interpret verse 16, which says, If the days are gone, say go, it doesn't matter. You remain, you who are not less than pure. What, it mean? what does it mean? It means to let go of your attachment to the past. Generally, in spirituality, Sufism and Rumi, the attachments are the root of our misery. One of those attachments could be our attachment to the past. The things that had happened in the past that was not pleasant, the decisions that we made in the past that we are not happy about, and things like that. If we are worried about that, if we are attached to that, it's going to drain a lot of our energy. So we should actually uh, remove those at attachments from us. We also need to embrace the changes. As the time passes, a lot of changes happen within us and that could include uh, our aging or mortality. That shouldn't really stand in our way because this is not something that we can control, uh, control and therefore if we worry about that it's going to just makes us, ma make us very stressed and it's not useful. The other thing is that to find an stability in ourselves. So although the time and the days are going fast and we may feel that we are aging and uh, things are really uh, going to a speed that we are not expecting, there is one thing that's stable. One stability that we can find in ourselves is our essence and who we really are, which deep down is a part of the divine. Focusing on that, that's not going to change because that is complete pureness. That will remain unchanged no matter what else changes in our life, including our physical body, our finances, etc. So find that stability, find your attachment to the divine and your essence. The other important point is to cultivate your uh, acceptance. One of the most important things that you can do in your life is to accept the things that uh, have happened to you in the past that you have no control about. Acceptance can be a very powerful thing if we apply it in our life where the things that we accept don't have that power over us anymore to control us because we accepted it. So it's not going to tangle us and make us feel bad and thinking, oh my God, why we cannot change that? Yeah, acceptance can be very empowering. And one of the things that's very important is not to have regrets. Regrets are the things that uh, we don't have again control about, the things that happened in the past, the decision that we made that were wrong. We should accept that in essence we are pure. And whatever happened then, the, all the decision, wrong decisions did not really affect who we really are. And then uh, that can give us a lot of peace. So see how you can apply this Rumi's wisdom in your day-to-day -day life. I like to reflect whether there was a time that you feel very much attached to uh, the passing of the time and got really worried about how fast the time is going or when you felt that you've done uh, you, you made decisions in the past that you're not very proud of and have still some consequences in your, in your life. Find example of those and see how much energy those are consuming because you're not either accept, accepting them or uh, not really getting over them. Just see what, what are the incidents where you are worried about the time and the things that happened in the past and regrets. List them on a piece of paper, reflect on them, get some mindfulness, accept them, and let them go. 
that can be a very powerful exercise that you can. And I remember in my life, in the past, I was, uh, I think it was like 10 years ago when I was making some decision to move between countries. And I was thinking what's going to happen, why the decisions that I made in the past has resulted in this uh, kind of decisions and what's going to happen in the future. What I realized was, the most, uh, was that the most powerful thing is to accept the past, do not worry about the future, and just make the decision based on the most relevant and update information that you have. And whatever happens, it happens. Just accept that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please hit uh, the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.